So here we have Power of the Prime's leader class, Optimus Prime. And he's quite awesome. And this is a special one because, you see, I toy hacked it, which means it's got all the extra stickers and, you know, the paint looks really cool. And honestly, it's a really, really great version of the figure. And, um, um, oh, 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 oh my. Um, <laughs> this is the oversized black version I ordered from Sirsoys.com. Yeah, I know, everyone's sick of Sirsoys at this point. I don't care. I'm sorry, this is awesome. Um... This is the black sort of nemesis y primey version. Is it Black Mamba? Something like that? I don't know. And, uh, yeah. Um, it, there are tweaks. I believe this is like, I think there was a nemesis prime version, so this is heavily based off that. But that's where the comparisons start to end. This is very different. Like, very, very different. And not just the sheer scale of the thing. For argument's sake, let's bring in Drag Strip. He's a biggin, all right? He's, he's an absolute biggin. Um, there are a number of changes, like big, big changes. And a lot of them are quality of life changes. So let's just look at the cabs for a second first. Take these out of the way. Oh, heavy. Okay. Now, first things that you won't see on this, but you will see on that is See these pins and these big hinges on the side for the transformation? Yeah, they put a double hinge in. So you don't have that anymore. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything else that's different. I don't think there really is. Uh, these extra stickers and stuff like that are from these uh, toy hacks. And uh, Same with the silver on there and on the wheels. The wheels, that was a nightmare. So were those. Those weren't fun either. Or Prime. All these touch uh, things. It's a good set, don't get me wrong. It makes a big improvement, but... This thing's just... Look at the state of it, quite honestly. Um, where the, where's the die-cast in this? Because it's definitely die-cast. Um, these toe plates are definitely die-cast. Uh, not sure if there's anything else in this. But it's awesome, honestly. And look at the sheer size of it. Like, uh, where's the, where's he gone? There he is. Like this, when it transforms, is roughly Voyager. I know it's it's quite compacted down, but this is roughly a Voyager. And look at the size of it. It's a big one. Okay. Now we'll look at the trailers. Uh, come in. Sorry, this is going to be a big one, because uh, it's a big thing. What can I say? Okay. Ah, right. So, again. Hinge down the middle. No hinge. Huh. 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 Even here. Now, this has been toy hacks, so a lot of these stickers have been replaced. But even here. That's still painted. That, that's awesome. I mean, all right, it could do with the strip across here, but no one's perfect. And I don't have any paints even close to that to be able to paint it, so. But, no other massively visible changes there, I don't think. No? Don't think so. Uh, anything from the back? Uh, see, this has got the, the long vehicle prime, all that sort of thing, so that's cool. And uh, this doesn't, because it's not toy hacked. But it's, you got to find a toy hacked set for this one if you can. Uh, I think the front, no, no. But again, that giant hinge down the side that was really obvious is no longer on here. And people who are familiar with how that transforms and how probably look at this are going, how? I'll show you how in a bit. So we'll take him out of the way. And we'll bring in the cab to and get ready for transformation. Okay, so it's pretty much exactly the same. Uh, you untab these sections, there's the slot there, tab there, and you double hinge it up. This is where one of the slight drawbacks of this set. This kind of wriggles, so in the original you just fold it over, went straight to place, no questions asked. 
bam, into place. This one, because it moves a little bit, you have to wriggle, which is why that's scraping a little bit. But it, it's it's nothing to write the figure off and just point it out. I'm being fair, you know? You get this, and this one's really tight. This one does not like to move. This one comes out and folds over. No problem. This one does not like moving. <sighs> Come on. I'm not sure why. I don't, let's try and find out at some point. But this one doesn't like to move. Is it that tab? Something like that? I don't know. Whatever it is that locks in does it very, very securely. And it does not like to move. Get this back into place. There you go. Mm, rotate it around and into place. Okay. If you've already seen how the Power of the Primes figure transforms, you know how this part transforms. Anyway, this isn't different. Rotate that around while rotating the arm. Fuck out the hand. Yeah. Oh, look, there's the head. Massive reveal. Okay, we'll sort that in a bit. No big deal. Straighten out the arm. Hand. Untab this panel. Flip it up to cover that. Separate the legs. Rotate them down. Turn. Oh, a little bit of spur. Tie that up later. Flip out the toe. Down. Rotate. Flip out the toe. And put the head into place. And he's already off screen. Already off screen. Give me a minute, boys and girls. This is just the body. This is just the cab. This isn't the rest of the trailer yet. <laughs> the trailer is that much still to come. <laughs> okay, let's just let's prepare ourselves. The trailer on the original is there. <laughs> the original figure is there. So it's what, twice the size? Uh, Kingdom Tigertron. Um... Jihaxus, Wild Rider. He's big, is what I'm going for, okay? He, he's very, very big. And I kind of love it. Absolutely. Why am I taking you away? I want you there. All right. Okay. Um, all right, let's try and adjust myself. I need a proper desk for this. I'm crawling across the floor. Hang on. Ah, right. So, again, this has been Toy Hacks. I wish that logo was in the middle, not to the side, but fine, yeah. It's got the stickers in there on the toes and stuff, you know. The thighs are all silver. Look how nice that is. Thanks. He's a very nice looking figure. He is. Yeah, still got all the stuff hanging off the back, but no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. And then you get this one, and... He's just, oh. it's it's stunning. Like, how how can you turn this, who's just so generic and boring? You know, because Orion Pax wasn't the most exciting figure ever, you know, character. And they've gotten this, who's just some kind of like, I work in a warehouse, I'm bored. So I understand how he feels, though. And they've turned it into this. This is kind of a, I'm going to watch you struggle, because I'm evil. I'm not going to help. But he's not actually showing much. It's just in the look. It's just something about it. This metallic light blue, teal, whatever it is. Stunning. Look at it. The presence. They've had the silver to the hips, which that doesn't have. And, you know. Just big meaty hinges. And that's filled in. That isn't filled in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a filler kit on in the legs. That's nice. And he's just, oh, absolutely monstrous. Just a <laughs> scale of this guy already. And we haven't got to the trailer. This is going to be a big one. I'm sorry, kids. I, I want to get this done because I've got stuff I need to do. But, oh, this thing's huge. The, all the articulation's still the same. He's got the ball joint. He's got swivel. He's got double hinge. This will rotate for the transformation. Uh, ball joint with the skirt over it. Swivel. What, good 90 degree? Yeah. And the toe wiggle a bit. And these toes are die cast. Yay. Is that pal die cast? No. 
yeah, so he's absolutely monstrous. <laughs> and I adore it. I honestly do. I love this to bits. I, I love him, especially with the toy hacks. He's a fantastic figure. But the, I think there's just something about getting something you like and making it bigger that, you know, kind of works. Okay. Uh, we need to get it into its combined mode. So give me a second to get this one out of the way. So what we're going to do is, it's quite straightforward really, open up the chest panel and stuff, flip out the head, and this is the one bit I'm not sure about. I don't know what's going on, but something seems to get caught. Um, bring that over the top. Yeah, something seems to get caught there, and I'm not 100% sure what it is, and I don't know what I need to do to fix it, but I don't want to break it, so you know. I'm going to rotate the head around. Fold it into the body, close it up, and just fold it off. Arms, fold up, bring the legs up, fold the toe down, turn around, uh, using that tab into the side there. Uh, uh, goes to there. Same on this side, turn it around, toe, line that up, and in it goes. And there he is, in his body. And again, I'm just going to keep doing it. Size comparison. <sighs> and they are very different head sculpts. Like, this apparently is the Nemesis Prime head sculpt. I, I've never had this figure. I wasn't even sure it was a real thing, or if it was just like a, you know... A knockoff or something. I, I didn't know it was a real thing, but this is the Nemesis Prime head, and this is the proper Prime head. This is a beautiful head, but this one seems more like Ginrai, if that makes any sense to anyone. I'm trying not to burp loudly, sorry. Okay, so we might as well get the trailer. So we'll budge this out of the way and we'll do the trailer. Okay. And this is the part I don't like. I don't like transforming this. Um, it's very, very clever. It's very, very clever, but I'm worried about breaking it. I, I haven't broken it much. Uh, but this is just what I'm worried about. Okay, so we need to come here and untab all this. Because it's weird. The, the original, you untab from like here somewhere. But on this one, you untab from there, which freaks me out a little bit. So I'm going to untab this. Uh, this tabs into this one. There's a little tab there into a slot there. I'll untab that one. This side. Untab this one from there. And again, lots of very, th not, not very thin, but you know what I mean? Lots of thin panels tabbed into each other. Not something I very much like, okay? And now we're going to separate this top piece. I'm trying to fold this out of the way. And yeah, see this tiny little peg? That's supposed to go into that little hole there. And on this side, there is no longer a peg. Because the first time I transformed it, I didn't realise that. And it boom, snapped straight off and disappeared. But it's not the end of the world. The figure still holds together perfectly well, so I don't care. Fold that over. I'm going to try and rotate this down to there. This isn't like the original, is it? This, this, You can make a base mode out of this. Look at all that re uh, retail uh, retail space. There you are, look at that. Um, rotate this down to the side. Yeah, you got some little land ramps to get on. There you go. Just need something to prop it up. <laughs> or, considering how it's not tabbed in, you can just Straighten the legs out a bit more. There you go. It's the secret base mode. Ta-da! Ridiculous. Anyway. I'm going to do that. We're going to bring the feet down. Okay. Right. Right. Bring this back a little bit more, just to make sure there's some space. I'm going to fold this panel over. I'm going to fold this panel over. 
And this tab goes into, what, that little hole there, is it? Yeah. Goes into there. And then that folds up close. And then this will double hinge all the way in. Like this. And go into the back of the leg like that. And that'll fold up on the side. And I think it just like tabs in. And that is one leg. And now we have to split the legs because it doesn't really like doing uh, both these pieces together because they can't catch on each other. So we'll rotate this through. We'll rotate this and double hinge it all the way through. Sorry, triple hinge. Look, there's a double hinge right there. Triple hinge, that tabs in. That folds in and around and goes into the leg as it should. This folds down and what? Well, this tab goes into that groove, I think. Yeah, there you go. And those are the legs. Okay. And that's the uh, unusual part of the transformation that you wouldn't have seen before, potentially. So, I'm going to get this loose. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. okay, put the gun there. Rotate these, uh, bring the arms all the way up, shove the shoulder panel into place. All the way up, shoulder panel into place. Put the arms back into their position. Might as well flip out the smokestacks while we're here, if I can get hold of them. There you go. We'll take the arm down. Smokestack. All the way down. Now we have the body ready. Ah, my foot's asleep. Ah. Oh, sorry. I forgot to fold in the peg there. Okay. Let's bring in the original. Bring the camera back a little bit so you got a bit more scale. There you go. Are you starting to get the idea of how much bigger this thing is yet? Yeah? Okay. So we'll get the original and we'll plug it together. And there it is. And we'll get the knockoff. And we'll get that. And there that is. And just look at the absolute scale of the thing. Now, um, I don't know if you can see just there. That's my uh, Combiner Wars Galvatron. So he's bigger than a Combiner Wars figure. And he's absolutely monstrous. Give him his gun. And this is something that this one's got. Now, see, this has got all the panels on the arms. And this one, they're all on the legs. Uh, this is toy hacks. These panels actually look quite cool. They don't look as bad. They're not just big silver slabs. They've actually been, you know, stickered up. They look pretty good. Yeah. But the way that these are completely clear, and it's just a little bit more panels on the legs, because the legs look messy anyway. It's ingenious. Plus, wrist swivel, and opening hands. Like, <laughs> it's just, <laughs> all right, sure. Close that up, give him his gun. And I believe this should still work. One of these used to fight with me and I've had to trim something. But you can still do the whole open it up and show the purple matrix that's inside. Which I've never taken out because why would I? But it is in there and you probably can if you want to. And... This doesn't work as well because the double hinges uh, allow these wheels to wriggle around and they catch on things, whereas this is, you know, locked into place and it doesn't really get in the way. Although it's trying to, just to prove me wrong. Honestly, it's absolutely stunning. This is so, so pretty. Such a gorgeous figure. Um, 
as soon as I said something like a, the shoulders might be an issue. So let me, and see how this opens slightly here? You can see that. So maybe a dab of glue here and there. But honestly, I'm just not going to be rough with it. I, I love this thing too much to break it. It's just going to stand there and intimidate everything in the world. It's gorgeous. It's stunning. Uh, do I need to do a size comparison? Do I need to bring in Wild Rider? Do I need to bring in my Combiner Wars E Megatron? Uh, Galvatron, not Megatron. Oh, well, that didn't work. Genie's coming. It's huge. All right. He's absolutely huge. He's gorgeous. He's stunning. He's absolutely huge. And I love him more than life. Not as much as my kids, but, you know, I have to say that. And, yeah, that's me. I'm going to scarf it because I've just done four videos back to back. And I'm tired and I've got things I need to do. But he's amazing. Like, he is genuinely fantastic. So, if you can find him anywhere, do it. Just, just, the, amazing. I'm going to scarf it. So, I should be ugly, I should be wretched, I shall see all of you in the next one, where you find the undersized, nice version of me. Do you think I was going to be the oversized, do you think I'm not the oversized evil one? No, 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 no. Toodle-oo!